Hello everybody, welcome back to Soulwork Studios. I'm sorry to say, but the light over here just burnt out, so I gotta fix that for the next review. But anyways, we got set 30461, 58 pieces. It's a 25th anniversary Lego Pot Racer. Now, uh, I didn't really know that these were coming out until like a week ago, and then I just kind of saw them starting to pop up um, online and in stores and hearing people mention them, so I bought one. I bought the Pot Racer, so it's fun. Let's open it. This one's actually a little bit bigger than a normal poly bag. So, we slice open to get those pieces inside. I do want to mention that there is no uh, coupon on the back of this bag. So here it is. I do like it better than the full scale one because there's not a ton of like colored uh, Technic bits coming out of uh, this part. Now there is a, you know, like a piece of uh, Lego sticking between these to make sure that it is you know, all lined up and clean. But there is the part that I just uh, that you just saw at these front bit of the fuselage. They just don't really stick on well. These are held on by one stud, and then each one of the one by four plates is also only held on by one stud, making that this build in the front. Is pretty finicky and needs to be very lined up straight to make it look decent. Now, I do like the back part of the fuselage, uh, not the fuselage, but this, uh, like the cockpit. It looks really nice, and I don't know if I love the look of it from like an upside down position, but when it's positioned like this, it looks pretty decent. I don't have much more to say about this set because it's so small, but four bucks well spent. I do want to mention that the manual is a little bit bigger than a normal um, manual for a poly bag. Generally, the picture would just be here, but this one folds out, so you get the whole picture like that. And it keeps like the 20th anniversary box art design on the manual, which makes it just feel very coherent with the line. Well, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.